So if you're looking to get into the FPV drone game, DJI has some of the best accessories and best options really out there, starting with their new RC Motion Controller 3. As you can see here, this is actually one of the easiest ways to control your drone if you're looking to just begin in the FPV game, like I said. In addition to this, they also have probably one of the best quality headsets as the Goggles 3 are available and have been for some time. And these are allegedly one of the best out there, a little lighter, better fitting, better quality. Um, so a lot of you guys are also picking up one of the DJI Neos and the smaller drones or the Avadas that have obviously come out, which is a direct relation to these goggles and the controller. Today, I wanna to show you the just a quick unboxing of what you can expect of both of these products. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Make sure you use those affiliate links. We'll throw them down below. It definitely helps out the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Let's go. So let's go ahead and start with the RC Motion 3 here. And as you can see with the outline of the packaging, this is a somewhat compact controller over last year's. It does come with a slew of upgrades and I do think this is going to be the easiest way to fly a drone for newer drone pilots. Simple tab to pull to get this opened. Uh, box is pretty minimalistic again, aside from the device itself being shown. And when you open it up, you get the controller right in the top there. You have your little bit of a uh, light cut app recommendations and really nothing else. Pretty, pretty basic in the packaging. Let's go ahead and rip this open. And here it is. So the trigger is obviously going to be your, basically your accelerator or brake. You have your manual and return home. You have your dial record button and your power on the side as well. Additionally, at the bottom, you obviously have your charger port. It is USB type C and that lanyard loop. If you choose to use it, that is actually included as well. So you can wrap this around your hand and use it as needed. I will say the actual joystick here does have a nice little grip feel with that texture on it. Um, so I would imagine it being pretty nice and easy to use. So let's set that off to the side and look at, I would think the start of the show, the Goggles 3. These are a massive update over last year's and I think are just gonna be probably one of the funnest additions to using any sort of FPV drone for, well, obvious reasons. Now, even though the Neo is not technically an FPV drone, they have enabled it to where you can use, obviously, both these accessories if you so choose to fly it as an FPV. It does go right about, I think, 36 miles an hour when you're in manual mode. And you can see exactly what this baby looks like here. And in the box, it tells you, you have your goggles three, corrective lenses, additional forehead pads, a USB-C OTG cable, and your manuals. So again, we have a little tab here to pull. And let's get this open. I love when it sticks after you have a pull tab. All right, so first things first, you can see your corrective lenses in here and all of that. Let's go ahead and open this up and look at the guide. Okay. So again, here is your quick start guide. You're going to want to use this with your app on your iPhone or Android phone to get everything synced together. And you can see it's a pretty thorough guide here, making sure your fit is snug and how to properly turn it on, check your battery level and connect it to that DJI Fly app. This will actually be beneficial for once. We usually don't even care about instruction manuals, but that could be helpful here. Safety guidelines, that will chuck to the side. Again, here are those pads, the additional ones. Here is your transmitter cable. This I'm gonna open up for us. As you can see, it is a USB type A to USB type C plug. And then those corrective lenses. Going to leave these off for now and closed, just cause I don't think we're gonna need them. And moving back into the package itself, the goggles are what's gonna be left here. And 
I can tell you actually picking them up without opening them yet, this is a lot heavier than what I thought. It's gonna probably be heavy for some people's heads. Hopefully the balance of the weight is substantial enough to not cause a lot of discomfort, um, but it is something right off the bat I noticed. And again, while we're opening this up, I will throw the link down below in the description for any of you that want to pick one of these up. We greatly appreciate you using those links. So here you go, the inside of the goggles. It currently has a protective cover over them, telling you to keep lenses away from direct sunlight. You have your plug on the inside, your soft rubber outside to cover your face with. You have obviously on the outside, your antenna bands on the front here that pop right up. You have your cameras, you have your adjustment knobs on the bottom, and obviously the back tightening up piece right here um, that I believe is also the battery to sit on your head. So this is a lot smaller than last year's model, which is one of the main reasons I do like this a lot better. It doesn't look as big and bulky. And again, if it's as heavy as this is already, I can only imagine what last year's was. You can see your charging port, again, USB Type-C, and your power button right there as well. Aside from that, no other ports, a couple of vents, but that is gonna be most of what you see here on the outside, aside from this little joystick again for some other controls, and a back button on that side. The left side of the goggles does not have anything additional. So, this could be probably one of the best pairings that I would think, especially for beginner pilots, for using FPV drones, the Avada, the Avada 2, or now the Neo. We're gonna be doing a whole video in regards to the Neo and this setup in the very near future, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to get information on that when that video is available. Other than that, what do you guys think? Are you excited for this setup? Do you think it's actually good for advanced FPV pilots as well? I'm very curious. Comment down below and let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.